Hello, 8th grade students, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So we are still talking about objects in the solar system. We have reached the lesson of stars. Stars, as you all know, they are made out of dust and gas. Also, stars, they do not last forever, so they have a life cycle. So stars, they form, and then they eventually die. And how long does a star live depends on its mass. So, to begin with the lifespan or the life cycle of a star, we should start from the nebula. A nebula is when the star has a large cloud of gas and dust, and that is how it starts to form. It starts forming by the name of a nebula. And then moving on, we have the protostar, which is the densest part of a nebula. So this is when the gravity starts pulling the gas and the dust together. And this is kind of like the first stage of a star's formation. And one of the processes that are involved in creating a heavier or a denser part of the star, it is called the nuclear fusion. And this process begins in this specific stage, which is called the protostar. If you want to know how long does the star is supposed to live and not eventually die, it depends on the mass and the mass of the star itself depends on the gas and the dust that is condensed from the protostar which is also the first step of the star formation we also have a white dwarf this type of star is when the star begins to run out of fuel and the core or the dense middle part starts to shrink and the outer portion starts to expand. Depending on the mass of the actual star, it can either become a red giant or a super giant, depending on its mass from the first stage of the protostar. Also, we have something else called as supernova. Supernova is when there is no fuel left in the supergiant star, and then it explodes. This light, or the expulsion itself, it is called a supernova star. Also, we are going to talk about the neutron and the pulsar stars, which are some of the smallest and less dense stars than a white dwarf, and they are the end of the cycle of the stars and at the end we can get a black hole when an object with gravity is so strong that nothing not even light can escape from this is the last part of the lifespan of a star this is it for this week eighth grade thank you so much if you need anything you know where to find me